Welcome back for another episode and we are back for Thursday Funder for Thursday before our first pay-per-view sin. Uh, we've got another show Saturday night in a couple of days but uh, none of the guys who will be fighting at sin will be fighting on Saturday night because uh, there's only one day apart. So this is my uh, planned show for Thursday Funder and Canyon and Booker T. Booker T has requested um, a few matches with Canyon, like Canyon did before, which I explained in the last video. So it only made sense to stick them in a feud together. Uh, Canyon's the heel in this feud, and we've started off a show uh, with Canyon sneaking up backstage on Booker T and attacking him. So that's how the show is going to start. Then we're going to have a cruiserweight uh, tag team match. Uh, Shane Helms and Shannon Moore are going to beat uh, Elix Skipper and Kid Romeo, who haven't appeared yet, so this will be their first appearance. Then we're going to have an interview with Billy Kidman. He's not had one yet, and uh, we just started a feud with him and Chavo Carrero. Uh, they are going to face each other at Sin for the Cruiserweight Championship, so this is just to uh, get a bit of heat uh, on that over the next few days. This match, it's a hardcore match. Rather than have it three-way, I've had it between two, Bam Bam Bigelow and Sergeant AWOL. Um, this is going to be a number one contenders match for Terry Funk's hardcore title. The winner gets a shot at Funk at Sin. And as you can see, that's going to be Bam Bam Bigelow. Then we're going to have an angle uh, where Sting challenges Ric Flair to a, a match at the next big event, which is Sin. They're already in a feud, and this will just hopefully intensify the feud between the two. Um, Lance Storm and Rey Mysterio last... Um, it's a good job I've done this, actually, because it's actually meant to be Storm and Awesome draw with Kid, uh, Mysterio and Conan, not Kidman. So it's very good uh, that I've done that. You can actually see me book something here. So um, I'll talk you through from match. It's going to be a 2v2. Lance Storm and Rey Mysterio have um, pr progressed through to the finals uh, for the TV Championship. Now in those semi-finals, Lance Storm beat Conan and... Um, Rey Mysterio beat Mike Awesome. So it only seemed logical that uh, two of those guys in the semis were from uh, Team Canada and two were from Filthy Animals. Let's have them face each other on Thursday Thunder just to uh, heat things up a little bit. So Conan and Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio and Conan against Storm and Awesome. It's not going to be for a title, and it's going to be a draw. For the finish, it's going to be a double count out, and then they're going to finish off with a brawl to the back. Okay, so it's going to build up to a future match. The match at Sim between Storm and Mysterio. Okay, a little delay there. Uh, now we've got an angle. Uh, so Nash and DDP, they think they're too good for everyone. They think they're too good for the tag team division. They're the tag champions. Uh, they beat Palumbo and O'Hare, even if it was by disqualification in the last event. Um, so Buff Bagwell and Lex Luger, totally buff, have come at, uh, reformed a team and they've come out and challenged DDP and Nash to uh, for the tag team titles at the next event which is uh, sin of course so i'm probably going to make it into a freeway match with palumbo and o'hare just to spice things up a little bit so uh buff and luger nash might actually agree to lose at this time i'm not sure what the result's going to be at sin but i'll think about that uh, but this is the first time i've used buff bagwell and lex luger so now's a perfect time i think to bring them in this is also a um, number one contenders match uh, for Cat over General Erection. Jeff Jarrett's already beaten both, even though he's cheated both times. 
and the winner of this match gets to face Jeff Jarrett for the US title at Sin. The winner is the cat who is in a feud with Jeff Jarrett. Okay. Interview with Jeff Jarrett, he's basically uh, saying how he's already beat them both and he's going to beat the cat again at Sin. Um, just uh, spicing up the feud, really. Uh, main event, second to last segment. A bit underwhelming. Uh, two guys who haven't featured before, Dustin Rhodes and Rick Steiner. They've requested uh, a match together. I can't remember who requested the match, uh, Dustin or Rick. One of them did. So uh, when a wrestler does that, it should turn out to be a, a decent match. Uh, so that's... Uh, and I don't want to overuse any of the big wrestlers or uh, overexpose them before uh, for the next pay-per-view. Uh, one versus one angle uh, involving Papa Punk pump and goldberg pop a pump attacks goldberg backstage and he poses with the world title to taunt him that's going to lead up nicely uh to the to the match at sin i may make that into a freeway with sid vicious as well okay let's start the show last show got 65 percent not great for saturday night but we started the show off well uh, Booker T and Canyon, 79%. That started off that feud nicely. Uh, Skipper and Romeo uh, against three counts. It's a good rating, good match quality, poor crowd reaction. A typical story with these young, talented cruiserweights. Ah, oh, right, Billy Kidman. I won't be putting him on the mic anytime soon. That's not gone down well, 51%. So uh, we need to work on his mic skills. That match actually went down really well for a hardcore match. Bam Bam Bigelow, Sergeant AWOL. Um, very high match quality. Really pleased with that. Ric Flair Sting, they always bring in the numbers. 89%. Lance Storm's uh, awesome against uh, For Filthy Animals. Again, really good leading into the TV title match at Sin. Really happy with that. Uh, insiders are in the ring. Totally buff call them out uh, for the next event. That's gone down really well. Happy with that. Uh, general reaction versus Cat didn't go down too well. Uh, but for big match, it's going to be for Cat and Jeff Jarrett rematch at Sin. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, always good on the mic. 88%. Billy Kidman needs to pick up a few tips from him. Uh, Rick Stein and Dustin Rhodes, that got a pretty good rating, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. And Papa Punk Goldberg, really hyped up. Average rating, 72%. It's matched my best ever show, uh, which was, I think it was Funder last week. So, obviously, something's going right with these Funder shows. So, that's leading nicely to Saturday night. I'm going to have a few angles for Saturday night. Um, a few angles just uh, hyping up the matches that are going to be on the pay-per-view. I'm going to uh, decide which nine matches are going to be on that event. Uh, rather than have angles and interviews in the events, I like to have everything as matches. Uh, I like to have a stacked card. So we'll talk more about that in the next uh, video. So let's see how it's gone down. 4.44... I mean, we're going to be behind SmackDown for quite a long time because the company was in dire straits at that point. Rick Steiner was working too stiffly. Well, you requested a match with him, so um, anyway, I won't put you back in with him. Don't worry about that. What's the incident? Liam, you insulted a few of our wrestlers. You know what? I'm not using it. You're fired. There we go. That's a bit of uh, money off a wage bill. Okay, next show, Saturday night. That will be my next video. Uh, let's see how the feuds are hotting up. Uh, Chavo Stereo, 63. That needs hyping up a bit more. Uh, but look at all these. They're going down pretty well. So that's the video for today for this event. And see you next time.